<clears throat> so, Your, Your Honor, you're certainly invited. <clears throat> and you can sit for us. Would you like? Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to want to speak to. I will go ahead and briefly say something, and then David Timmons, since he has all of the uh, paperwork. I'll just um, have you notice that this is the CIF fund uh, file that I have. So I've been on this board since it had a different name. And um, along with that, um, as you know, we've had serious issues with this fund that um, I would um, hope had been resolved. Um, we're very pleased with the current county administrator's oversight of it because it was a mess. Uh, funds were commingled when they shouldn't have been, and there was no accounting for many years. I hate to say that in public, but that's the facts. And now that you're considering postponing yet again what had been approved over three years ago, it's extremely disappointing to me. This isn't something that can be put off. This is a contract. You need to live not only to the law, which is the RCW, that allows the jurisdictions to participate in this fund, as well as the expenditures of the fund. Yes, you take formal action on it, but all previous actions, including the approvals, have to be done by the PI board. And we have gone through this not once, but three times. 2007 was when we first submitted this project, and it has been approved every single time by the entire PIF board, which includes citizens. So for you to take this action that you have suggested, uh, Commissioner Sullivan, would be a slap in the face to us, particularly considering that the city is currently paying the county's bills at Memorial Field and at the community center. That's a contract as well. We live of but not only by the letter of the law, but also by our word. And I would be very disappointed to see you renege on both. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to speak. Commissioner Austin, I'd like Your to speak. Your Honor, Mr. Belensky, you're not an elected speak. official, and you haven't been asked by an elected official to I, speak. I would like to speak. Okay. okay. Well, thank you. Um, I would appeal to you not to delay um, authorization of this because of the time that has been involved and the commitments that have been made. It's being presented in a future tense and it's actually in a past tense because the city has relied upon this grant um, and has spent the funds. Uh, not just, on, it was not on the roundabouts, it was actually on the Howard Street corridor and getting that established to access the commercial frontage that the city is using. When we first received the funding, um, it was submitted in August of 2007. It took the county over a year to get us the paperwork, which was submitted back in September of 2008. The city requested in December of 2009 an extension because we were running into situations with the federal funds that if we had allocated these funds to the project, which we rightfully could have done, then we would have forfeited the federal dollars. It would have taken the money back. So in effect, we brought a half a million dollars additional funding into the county uh, by our actions to manage the funds. We got a response in December of 2009 that it would take time to address the issue. We invoiced then in May of 2010 to show that we had demonstrated all the expenses um, associated with the grant. We resubmitted the invoice back in February of 2011. The county responded, the first response that we received from the county's response in December of 2009 did not take place until March of 2011. The paperwork then was received from the PIF board after its reapproval of the extension of the grant agreement in May of 2011, and now it's scheduled for action in November of 2011. I think with a timeline, we've acted in good faith for over four years. We currently have a liability on our books for this money because we have spent the money. Um, and we relied on good faith that this would go through. 
a delay of this would further complicate the city's financial situation, and we cannot afford that. Our capital programs are actually independent of our operating programs. But what the delay of this means is that we are going to have to reevaluate possible impacts that this is going to have on our capital programs now. And the delay of possibly the projects, which if delayed, could cost us millions of dollars in downtown funding for federal programs that And that also are required to meet certain deadlines and timeframes, which is scheduled for the council's action tonight. So I would plead with you not to delay this because it really will hurt not only the relationships between the city and the county, but also it will it's, it will hurt financially. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. That's the question. Yeah. About when was, it, was all the money spent and when was it spent? It was spent in 2009. But we required an extension to submit, and we submitted the extension in December of 2000. But it wasn't dealt with until now. Thank you. Yeah, I'd like to speak about this. I would like to. Um, You're out of order. I think <coughs> that You're it's right, I also wish to speak. Yeah. Both gentlemen out of order. Okay. We All right. Responding that's fine. to a fellow. Uh, government. Fellow so government. What is that? You just held a public hearing. You just, yeah. Anyway, yeah, and you so only want people that speak, you know, you only allow Mr. certain Balenci. people to speak. Mr. Balenski, you're out it's of order. It's the identity quiet. of the speaker I'll that allows you to speak. Mr. Balenski, I don't have to ask you to leave. Yeah. Um, so, um, I think you've heard from Can't hear you. <clears throat> Certainly, the county is in a difficult position um, with the with the uncertainty on the revenue stream. Um, but uh, the city also is in a difficult position. It just seems clear to me that the public infrastructure fund committee uh, approved this extension and approved it to recommending the county commission to extend the award to December 31, 2012, which is coming up fairly soon. And um, I just, I once again say that I think we had to honor that, uh, that commitment. I think it might <clears throat> would be prudent to give the staff um, at least until this afternoon to come up with uh, a recommendation on what is available within the budget that could be uh, extended. Um, I, think I, agree. I think that's important too, and uh, as we look at that, uh, I mean, we've already talked some in the past about ordinance, changing the ordinance that the PIF uh, fund is under, but uh, we may need uh, further changes to that ordinance or the ordinance related to the pavement of the dry area sewer uh, uh, funding from that uh, if we make this choice. And uh, certainly sends it to it. I, I'm slapping the PIF board in the face. I'm slapping myself because I voted for this there too. And it is a good project, like I say. Um, and I'm really glad that we haven't bonded all of the money uh, because uh, We've always had these concerns that bonding it, that the revenue stream may not, you know, make the future legislatures can change. And uh, this is, uh, this is an RCW that's been changed several times, uh, you know, while I've been in office and I've lobbied for some of those. So uh, it's uh, something that, you know, we're really going to have to work with our legislators on. And we may have to take some risk uh, one way or the other, but. Uh, I'd like to have more information this afternoon, if we can, about uh, how we would uh, deal with the balance of the PIF fund, and considering our commitments and what our options are uh, for the future uh, in both directions. Okay. <clears throat> Any further discussion on um, <clears throat> item five? Do you understand? Uh, yeah, I, I understand, and, and I guess I would also like to invite um, uh, Mr. Timmons if if there's some 
further information in terms of the impacts on your capital program, potential impacts to your capital program that you want to provide me that I can share with the commissioners to help um, inform their thinking, I'd, invite, I'd welcome that. Okay, so this afternoon we'll be looking at that again. <clears throat> We're ready to move on with our uh, regular agenda, which is a moratorium regarding uh, morning days.